This barbarian has lived a rugged life and has shown time and time again that he is a stout and hardy dwarf. Having spent so long wandering the wilderness, he isn't aware of most social conventions and doesn't have knowledge that many would consider common, but instead has experienced much of nature and all of its bounties. He finds himself on the Nautiloid, however he's not too worried and will likely outlast any threats to his life. So we have here Constitution. He is an outlander who grew up in the wilds, learning to survive far from comforts and so on, which means he gets athletics and survival proficiencies. So we have here a Shield Dwarf, so he gets Constitution plus 2 and Dwarven Resilience. He gets Dark Vision. Sadly, this, these proficiencies go to waste because he already gets them as a Barbarian. His sub-race is a Shield Dwarf. This is for the Strength plus 2, really. Sadly, the Light Armor and Medium Armor proficiencies also go to waste. God Dwarf might be nice for the Dwarven Toughness, extra plus 1 hit point per level, but I really want him to have a decent Strength. He's a Barbarian, no choices to make. As for skills to represent his kind of upbringing and traveling around just out in the wilderness, he gets animal handling and nature. And then his ability scores, strength at 16, dexterity 14, constitution 17, some of you might be able to predict what I'm going to do with this later. And then the wisdom is at 12 to represent the fact that he has relied on his senses and intuition quite a lot. At level 2 he gets danger sense, so he has advantage on dexterity saving throws and reckless attack. At level 3 he gets his subclass choice, and I think obviously going for Wild Heart here. And to lean into the whole sturdy, resilient sort of barbarian build, we're going to go for Bear Heart. He would quite happily switch these actually at level up. You know, he's a widely travelled dwarf. Just for resilience sake, we're going to go with Bear Heart. At level 4, just going to go Constitution plus 2, leading into his namesake. And finally, level 5, not going to make any choices, but we get extra attack. He gets to move faster, so your movement speed increases by 5 while not wearing heavy armor. Yeah, that should say 10. And he's going to keep bare heart. It says 60 hit points. We haven't used the hags here yet, which we're going to use to put constitution up to 20. So it's actually going to be 65. And here are the items that Constitution has picked up along his journey. He's got the helmet of autonomy because the other party members told him to pick this up so he doesn't come under the control of anyone else or get stopped. He's got the blood guzzler garb. So if he has less than 50% hit points, then he gains Wrath for one turn. Also linked with that kind of, if he has less than 50% hit points, he gains Momentum for one turn, so it gives him 10 extra feet of movement speed. Got Reason's Grasp, so after the first rage each day, he's probably going to try and end his rage winningly. So he gets an extra 15 temporary hit points. Precious Ring, just because extra movement speed is always good, so his movement speed is now 45 feet. Linebreaker Boots, if he dashes, he gets Wrath for three turns. Wrath is currently broken, it's actually absolutely amazing. The weapon he's usually picking is Sorrow. It does 1d10 plus, well the plus 4 is including a plus 1, it's, one, it's a plus 1 weapon. It deals 1 psychic damage whenever the wielder deals damage with this with this blade, with this weapon. He's got 65 hit points, he doesn't really care about that. Sadly, even as a bear barian, he doesn't get resistance to psychic damage. <laughs> also says we get ensnaring strike melee, I haven't had this work yet. Who knows if it will work later in the video. And lastly, Beastmaster's Chain, I don't think I'll ever actually use this but it fits his character, Animal Friendship. He's happy to cast this enchantment spell on animals who are out and about. Also, as a backup weapon, he does have the Doom Axe. Each strike fills the target with a chilling dread that prevents it from regaining hit points. I'll show you where that comes in useful later. Undead creatures also get disadvantage on attack rolls. I don't really care about that so much. So he's going to be running around either swinging this axe to stop people from healing or just trying to get to people earlier because Sorrow is a glaive and it has extra reach, although he is quite fast now. So he doesn't have to go as far to reach as many people. So I'll show you some fights and sh see how he does. Constitution have nothing to do with these Dwergar slavers. And he's up head to head against another barbarian. Let's see how well that works out. He's got 52 hit points, he got hit quite hard before he got had a chance to rage. Do you know what? We're gonna brace. Try and get more damage on. We're going to see how we can actually help out. Constitution down there. So Gale. Ace has a choice really of enlarge, reduce or haste. I think we're going to go with haste at first. And then run away so we don't lose concentration on it. Shadowheart can do a classical bless. 
while sending out a healing word. While also running away. And Lazel making sure she doesn't lose out on all the fun. It's going to come charging in as well. Now everyone's gathered around Con Constantaption here. He wouldn't have it any other way. He's not scared. He's got so many hit points. He's never going to die. Ha! <laughs> nice kick. Right. Two actions. We're hasted. Do you know what? Because of these line breaker boots, I think it's actually worth at least one dash. Because we're going to start doing more and more and more damage the more we can dash. Right. Let's go after the big guy first. So we got plus one, two, three, four, five from Wrath there, even though we only got three turns of Wrath. Yeah, completely broken at the moment. Do you think we can do another five damage? I think we can. Down he goes. There we go. Constantaption can't have all the fun, right? Ooh, we're the lethargic because haste got broken. It's a bit sad. Have to do without it. All right. Let's get some people. And I think this is a fine time, probably, to end rage to get those 15 temporary hit points. There we are. Alright, sad that concentration got broken there. We'll try to do better next time. Constantation has no time for these Dwergar scum. We'll always take the side of the Deep Rothe and any animals out there. He gets to use animal friendship. Even if he isn't very charismatic. Oh dear. Poor Deep Rothe. Right. Let's get enlarge going. Kick out. And it's our turn next. Right out. Yes, time for a brace. Let's get this advantage effectively on our damage rolls as well. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Got to reroll there. We roll some slashing damage from the enlarge. We've got a plus two bonus. This is all very nice, isn't it? Let's try lacerate. Oof, an 18 there. Again, we're getting to reroll all these damage dice for this one turn only, though. It would be good if it was hasted, because then I could actually have rerolls and more attacks. Lazelle's no fool. She's actually going to try something similar. Although it's not as easy to hit. She doesn't have advantage. If he has a wolf heart, she'd have advantage, which would be nice. You'd hope we could hit one out of four. There we are. That's what we needed. Right. Oh, she doesn't get to reroll. Sorry. Her prepare is different. She gets to add an extra four damage, an extra strength modifier of damage. Nice. Keep breath on our side. Let's give this turn. Oh no, six damage. One of the benefit of being enlarged is actually our chance to shove is very, very high because we get advantage. Oh, unfortunate. Right. And actually, we're going to rush at... Oh no, we don't need to. Ah, we've already got advantage against them. Right, let's keep going. Oh, so close, so close. I don't think we need to worry about that too much. We'll attempt another shove, why not? Kick him off. This is what you guys get for messing with nature. Uh, she is resistant to all this damage. But I don't think she stands much of a chance. Especially when she drops her weapon like that. I'll go pick it up off her. This time we will get Shadow Heart to try and finish her off. Don't know if we're close enough. We probably won't. Go with the Guiding, guiding Bolt. 
over there. We showed them. And we'll get the Deep Breath here to help us out. According to Constantine's clan lore, he can prove himself to be a real hero by defeating a lava elemental inside its lair. So he's going to jump in. He's been buffed up actually quite a lot. And he's going to try and take on this elemental all by himself. Now is he going to risk running into the lava? Hell yes. Yes he will. He's changed his weapon if you've noticed. Look at that. It's not taking any damage. Right. I mean, his multi-attack doesn't look like very much. Ah, so what? 15 damage. Who cares? And this is what the axe is for, because the axe applies chill touch, which means the lava elemental cannot actually recover its hit points. So, it's just going to keep on going. He's been hasted. He's been blessed. You can see all the buffs down here. <laughs> all of this. And the floor is lava and he gets off the lava and he's perfectly fine. With that, he's taken three hit points of damage. Obviously, buffed a lot there. Anyway, let me know what you think of Constantine. What changes would you make? Did you like his idea? The items he took? The fact he took on the lava elemental, even though he has a lot of buffs? Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to all the members of the channel. If you want to join my Discord, please check the descriptions below. If you've made it this far, please consider subscribing. And hopefully I'll catch you in the next one.